Hey there new commanders, today we'll be learning about basic surface mining. For safety reasons, I highly suggest you go mining in solo. You will not be ganked by other players there, but you will be interdicted by NPCs when you're hauling precious cargo around. For this tutorial, we'll be picking up the adder once more. If you can afford to outfit a larger, better ship, feel free to do so. But for this demonstration, the adder will have to do. Use eddb.io to find stations with modules. Click on stations, look for adder here, and your limpets and modules here. In this section, put in your current star system, which for me was LHS 3802. Then click on Find Stations. In my case, Crouch Orbital was closest to me. Before we begin, this loadout will cost around 1.2 million credits. You have been warned. Go to Stored Modules, strip down your ship like so. And now we begin with hard points. I have one 2D mining laser and two 1D mining lasers. Utilities are empty, but you can slap on a heatsink launcher if fuel scooping gets too toasty. Here are my core internals. Everything but my FSD is D-rated for lighter weight, giving us further jump range. And here are my optional internals. There will be no shields, super cruise assist, or auto docking for this build. So this will put your abilities to the test. You can put those things in a bigger ship, but at the cost of having less cargo space. Remember to name your ship to give it some style points. We'll be mining pay night today, so head over to edtools.cc forward slash miner to find our spot. Click on pay night. Choose a hotspot system from the list below. My personal favorite is in Hyades sector, so that is where we'll be going today. Our destination will be the rings around the second planet of this system. This list also shows you where to get the best prices for your haul, which changes via in-game market economy. Let's open our navigation. Copy and paste Hyades here and hit search then route our way there. We'll be taking the fastest route with fuel scooping, so switch over to this tab. Under Maps, choose Star Class, and remove the following checkboxes. Apply filters, and reroute to your destination again, just to be sure. Before we leave the station, be sure to bring limpets in your cargo hold, or you will cry, Commander. Before you exit the station, remember to set your fire groups. Here is an example of how I set mine for mining. Now is also a good time to check your cargo for those limpets before proceeding to jump out. Once you've reached the system, scoop up some more fuel, then hit that discovery scanner. Open up the navigation panel and filter by planets and moons. We'll be heading to the second planet, so choose this one and make your way there. As we approach the planet, slow down once your surface scanner is within range and come to a stop. The orange spots are what we're looking for and will only show up once you've scanned the ring with your surface scanner. Fire a probe at the rings and wait for the scan to complete. Look for this overlap of two painite clusters for better resource RNG and enter that area. Wait for the first NPC pirate to scan you before you start mining so you don't get instantly blown to bits. They will leave shortly after and will be the only pirate in that sector. Switch to analysis mode and look for an asteroid. Fire a prospector limpet. and lock on to see the contents of the asteroid. I got lucky with this first rock. 
Lauren Jesus must really love me today. Unlock from the target. Release a collector limpet. Switch to your mining lasers and open your cargo hatch. Put four pips on weapons and start blasting. Your collector limpet will pick up the chunks of painite to be processed in your refinery and all you have to do is blast away until the asteroid is depleted and move on to the next rock. You will want your collector to pick up specific chunks, so add the unwanted resources to the ignore list. If your cargo bay is full, you can jettison a few limpets and pick them up again later if they are still around. Repeat the process until your cargo space is full of processed painite along with a full refinery. This counts as two additional units of painite, so be sure to eject unwanted resources in your hopper to capitalize on extra cargo space. An A-rated refinery will give you more extra units of painite, but because we were on a budget, this will have to do for now. Selling the mother load. Hop on over to Miner's Tool again to find the best possible station to sell. This was the closest system to me, and I was happy with the payout amount. Pray to our Jesus and hope that NPC pirates will leave you alone on your next long voyage. Aaron Jesus does love me today. Head over to Commodities Market and check the prices. Note that the prices run on the supply demand system of economics, so your prices may vary compared to the list. Sell the painite in your cargo hold and the ones in your refinery. That came out to 4.1 million credits and points in our trade career. This was a quick guide to the basics of surface mining in Elite Dangerous. I must say that bounty hunting for new commanders is the quickest way to earn credits early to get to the mid-sized ships. Branch off to big time mining once you can afford a python because that is how I made millions and billions on my other account. Thank you so much for tuning in. Hit that like button if you enjoyed and subscribe to support the channel. This is Commander Falling Star, signing off, 07.